Hi, this is Brittany with Mommy Words. I'm a MomSpark Media member, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to create your free custom header using Picnic. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you know what width your header needs to be so that it fits in with your theme uh, and fits over your content and sidebar. So you're going to open up your blog in Firefox and make sure you have the Firebug plugin downloaded. Then you're just going to right click on the header and say inspect element and this is going to show you everything about your blog but you can see here the header is highlighted. I go over here to the layout mine is 1072 pixels and you can see it highlighted here above and uh, also here in the layout box. So then I'm ready to go into Picnic and um, again if you don't have an account Picnic does have a free version that is great. Um, there are tons of options in it um, and you can make a header that's great pretty easily. So what you're going to do no matter what your header uh, format's going to be, whether you include photos or just text, is click here on collage. Um, and then if you're going to do photos, obviously uh, you want to make sure you pick the number of photos you have. Um, but no matter what, you're going to have to uh, choose one of these and put your photo in uh, and then save it to get the background color. So even if you're using no photos, this is where we'll be. Um, so I'm here and it comes in this standard gray color with three boxes across. Um, and I will just start by choosing a nice spring green background color. And um, at this point, if you are not going to use any pictures and you just want this background color, you can actually click Done up here um, and you'll be taken to the editing part. If you are going to um, upload a photo, at this point, you can choose where you're going to get that photo from down here from your computer, from your history, there's all these options. Um, this time I have edited one in Picnic and you want to make sure to do any editing before you get to this collage phase. So make sure your pictures have the effects you want, be it black and white, sepia, a cool vignette tone to them um, because you won't be able to edit the pictures individually once you make them into a collage. So I have this picture of my adorable son Miles and I'm going to make sure in case I want to put a capture uh, caption, sorry, below it later, but I know the color here so I can match it, 006600. And once that is done, um, I can fiddle around here again with the proportions. I'm going to keep mine square, but you can see you can make it wider or not wider. And just do undo when you do something and you want to go back. Um, I have been in two rounded corners lately and they've been all over the place, as you know. So I'll just round my corners and give it a nice clean look. Um, and once I do that and I have all the photos and the look I want for the photos, um, I'm going to click Done. Here I've just chosen to use one and leave myself with this large space for text. Nobody wants to cover up the picture of their kid's face or an important part of their header. So here I am in the um, kind of editing and creation area. And what I'm going to do is actually start here on the uh, left and move sideways. So um, you can see these are actually things you'd use for a photo. Um, and if you do it, it will apply this to the entire um, image. So you can't do that. You'd have to do that to your photo before you came in here. So I'm actually going to head here and show you um, effects is the same thing. I'm going to start with my text. And this is not my actual blog. Um, but I know we do have a lot of mom bloggers and product bloggers and so you do you want something cute and engaging um, so I've chosen to say life with mouse you just type your text in this box and then add it in and it's going to go in in this standard font you're going to have all your options here and what's great is that there are a lot of fonts and you can see you can just click right through them and they look cute I'm going to choose this pup cat because I think it's pretty adorable uh, just like Miles I know I'm a mom. So, uh, and then I can change the size over here. And then right in here, too, you can change what your what the font looks like if there's certain effects. Um, so that's great. And your font color, right over here, you'll be able to see all the different colors. I'm going to stick with white, which is always FFF, FFF. Black is 000, 000. And that would be right up here. You do have the option of entering in your color. So I have Life with Miles which is my fake title of my blog. And then, um, oh, 
oops, sorry. You have to click add there to make it in there and then click off it. Um, and then my subtitle or my tagline um, is messy. Mine. And then usually it can be a great idea to have two different fonts um, in your header. It gives a little bit of um, excitement, I guess. Uh, and so you can go down and just find some cute ones and then make them a good size for you. Uh, usually you want your your title to be larger. He's messy. He's mine. And he melts my heart. So this, I'm just doing this to show you kind of the options and how it looks. And you can match it to here. So I have a 65 there. So once I have that in there and I you know have it the way that I want it, um, let me move mine over a little bit. You can play around, like I said, you can pick any of these. You can see what premium options are available all the way through Picnic um, here, and so you can just drool over those in all of the different areas. Um, so once we've got all our text, we want to move to stickers, which is where you can add different things. Um, and you can see there's lots of different options. Um, if you're not using any photos, playing around with these geometric images is fun. Um, also, I love the speech bubbles. Just adore them. You can put them anywhere. You can make your people say something funny. Um, again, everything can be changed right up here color-wise and size-wise. So I think those are a really great option. But I'm just going to keep it simple here for you. Um, and they have some, again, they have some premium, but Gosh, they're so cute. Look at these trees. Very cute for an arts and crafts. They've got sports, fun beards you can add to your kids' faces or to yours. Those are great. Um, I'm going to come down here to children's drawings. Um, no, kids' drawings is what I'm looking for here. And I'm just going to pick this guy because he's cute and looks like a little boy just for this demonstration. Again, my... Oopsie, one letter off. make it white and then you can play with your spacing and stuff like that but at the point where you get everything in that you like then you're ready to move on to your borders and again feel free to play around with a lot of things and then send a couple versions to friends or people you trust post them in our mom spark media uh, support group and get people's opinion it's always nice to know that other people are on the same page and that they're getting what you're doing so after stickers, again, touch up is basically for pictures. You want to go to frames, and uh, you can see there's some cool ones. There's a postage stamp one that I just love that's in the premium area, but we're really concerned here with borders. And I just click through them and see what you're interested in. Um, and on this, if you are doing a, a, a header with photos across it, you may want to consider putting your um, your title and tagline down here in a caption area. I'll just show you real quick. You can do that with that caption height. Um, and again, you could have no other thing. And again, match that to the color we talked about, the 006600, and you'd have a green area. Um, I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to show you the rounded edges. And again, I would play with them so they sort of match your photo. And if you have rounded edges, you always want to check, check transparent corners. That's going to make it so when you paste it into or when you upload it into your site on a background, it doesn't show the white corners behind the header. So I just click Apply. And then once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to go to the Edit area and say Resize, because remember we talked about making it easy to upload into our blogs. And I want mine to be 1072. You can see this Keep Proportions box is checked. So it is going to change the height a little bit, but the height shouldn't matter as much in a blog. You may need to type in what your new height is, depending on what platform you're in, but it's really having that header width that you want. So then you click OK. Then you click Save and Share. 
life miles. Uh, and again, here you want to save in .png if you have transparent corners. A JPEG will not save with those transparent corners so you'd be able to see the white background. So anyway, we save our photo. And at this point, you'll be ready to Google away how to upload it into your blog if you don't already know how. Google is your friend with tutorials like this. Everybody wants a custom header, and so there's a lot out there that can tell you how to do it. And most platforms really now have an easy way to download it. So mine uh, is saved now. So I can close it. Um, and what it's going to be available in my library. Um, in my history here and I think it's cute and that's how you make your own custom easy header for free using Picnic. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know if you have any questions I would be more than happy to help. Thanks so much!